Trip Pendulum vs. Happy Side Flames. Let's go, baby. Cap G first trip. Who you got, baby? You guys seen the first match of Cap G vs. Trip, the Chronicles. Alter Guys vs. Pendulum. Who you got? Pendulum won. Pendulum won. I dealt with double judgment, order, the whole shenanigans, two hand traps, faker, everything, and I still won. Pendulum best deck. It always has been the best deck. But now we're not facing Alter Guys anymore. We're now we're facing. Now we're facing hand trap dot deck psi frames. Now psi frames inherently have a good matchup versus pendulums or soul cap thought simply because everyone thinks one hand trap stops the deck. You gamma electrum, you lose. Ha! Ha ha! Gamma? What? Do you guys know what Servant does? Now, I'm releasing this video one week after I'm actually filming it. I'm in Cuba. Having a nice ass time while this video is being filmed. While you're watching this video. So right now I'm probably 17 pina coladas deep besides some Cuban girls watching my own videos with them. Laughing. Ha <laughs> ha! Mio blast that spaniel. Ha <laughs> ha! Pen 5. Uh, I'm gonna pen my dark worm in her gate 0. And that's the, really the plan in Cuba. But while you guys are watching this, I'm probably actually doing that. While you guys are watching this, I'm probably summoning my dark worm in someone's gate 0. But in the meantime, you could watch this beautiful duel. And at the time being, 40 card pendulum is the best version of pendulum. Why? I don't even call it 40 card pendulum. I call it servant turbo. Servant turbo! You draw Servant, you win the duel. That's what the deck is called. Because your hand traps are useless. Would you like to ogre me? Would you like to ash me? Would you like to Valor me? No problem, bro. Because now the Servant's gonna negate everything. He stops the Shrine with Delta. He had Gamma in hand as well. But he decided not to Gamma the uh, Electrum simply because Servant was gonna negate everything. Pen called the Strudo, get everything. Uh, hey, Cap. 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 Hey, Cap. It's Trip on your left. Ha. <laughs> Avengers joke. Let's go, baby. Now we're going to do a really cool play here. You got to realize what he's playing. He's playing side frames. Side frames. Okay? You can't impermanence my Electro because you got monsters on board. You can't use another side frame card because you got monsters on board. You can't hand trap Baylor or Ogre or something my my Electro because I got Jackal on board. So, because of pen call, you can't pop your own scales. So, pop your own servant, get the plus one, get the. I couldn't send harmonizing because you had to send a, a, a dark worm because they, uh, he negated my shrine. And you still have the combo, even with, those shri uh, with shrine getting negated. The, if you played a typical pendulum deck and your shrine was negated, you're going on like pen one pass. Like, your, your turn sucks. You gotta play the spell cards, you gotta go. You gotta go with Servant Turbo and Resolve Servant every hand, regardless of the hand. You have to Resolve Servant twice sometimes, as you guys are gonna see in the game two or game three, or as you guys saw in my match earlier versus Trip, uh, versus Cap. <laughs> I said versus Trip. Here he sets one. What else is he gonna do? It, it, he summoned this in attack mode or something, or Link Karibo or whatever this is. I think it's a one card Lambda or something. I wanna seal it away. So he sets it to survive. Seal is useless. I could have sealed my own card. But I'm like, there's no reason for that. Let's just win the duel. So we normal summon attack, get, get wrecked. Uh, attack, uh, I lose 300. Doesn't matter. Attack, I don't negate it because I don't have game anyways. Attack, attack, attack. Now, he has one card set. He has all those cards in hand. I'm like, what the hell is he going to do? Card guard, bounce it. Strikes it. I can't respond. That's fine. Hard card effect, end phase. I'm like, he has no cards in hand if I let this... So he has no cards on field if I let it go. Of course I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to attack for game. And the second he uses beta, negate. So attack, attack, attack. Beta, negate with jackal. Gamma, negate with vortex. Win the game. <laughs> so you can't do anything. Win. Boom. Attack and win. That's You gotta know what you're playing. Like, it's just... It's too easy. Like, against side frames, you just pendulum something in your hand and make sure your jackal's in a gate for the beta and win. You even have a beta anyways, but still. Now, here's what he has. He has circuit... Metaverse, three cards in hand. Uh, Delta, Ash, Gamma. I was thinking this Metaverse is like a strike or a judgment. I'm like, this is, I'm still going to destroy him. What sucks is this. I didn't know at the time. I didn't realize. We all make mistakes. He had Pen God. 
I drew Jackal and, and Endymion. And because I'm so used to playing with Abductors, I completely didn't realize that Servant won't even be able to resolve its own effect. So I'm going to get so cocked. If literally any one of these is in deck, I'm cl clearing through four, five interruptions. One, two, three, four, four interruptions easily and OTK, like easily. But because it's not, we can't even resolve the servant, it's going to suck a lot. We're going to try and bait all this stuff here. Allure, get rid of the Strudo. We're going to master here to get the counters on a servant. We get another servant because we want servant to resolve for sure no matter what. Uh, he's going to... Delta the Shrine. That's fine. And he's going to Omega to get rid of another card in my hand. I'm like, that's fine. He gets rid of Endymion. I'm like, it's a use servant effect. And I... I had no targets, as I said. That absolutely sad. That is so sad. Because if I had the Jackal or Endymion, I would have won easily. I would have made Electrum and win. Desires, Ash. I'm like, bro, that's so stupid. That's so unfortunate. But if my Jackal was there, I won the game. But because I would have negate the Ash. But well, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna keep going here. I'm like, there's a two percent chance of all this shit happening. He won't be able to like OTK. Uh, I'm like, I'm still okay. I'm just gonna draw a high scale pen summon and win. What's he is? He's gonna search Gamma. I hope he searched Gamma, but he ended up searching. Uh, but he's gonna Omega after. He gets rid of Jackman. That's fine. I have my high skill. He got Delta. I was really hoping he's gonna get Gamma. Uh, he had Gamma later, I realized. But now you get Delta or Gamma. But I'm like, you know what? If I can just summon a high skill, attack into Lambda, and then Electro, I'm gonna put up a whole Guard Dragon combo and win. And Resolve Servant. Oh, never mind. I kind of completely forgot that. So he, Delta's my Dragon Pit. I'm like, bro, why are you Delta a Dragon Pit? What if I just activated a spell and won the duel? Uh. And then I lost him. Okay, wait, cap. I, I don't want to sound like a salty loser. You had me game two. You had me game two. Pengar dropped the game. Now look at this hand. Look at this hand. Look at this hand very closely, okay? If I activated Servant and Scale, okay, even if Shrine resolved, and then I, I can't get three counters on it. I played 24 spells in the deck, and Shrine, uh, Servant still didn't resolve. If this doesn't show you guys why you must play, like, 20 plus spells in your deck? I don't know what the hell will. I'm playing a 40 card deck. 20 spells plus triple chronos and curtain raisers. So it's like, you got bare spells in the deck. But you still can't resolve the servant. You gotta play spells to resolve it. So here, I don't scale the servant. I need it as a normal summon. If Shrine gets delta which he decided to do both games so far. Curtain raiser, normal servant, I can make Electro. But as you see, there's no plusing there. And I, if I pop the dragon pit, I'm still not gonna have a scale. So I'm going to have to even do a heads up play. I'm going to show you guys. So Shrine gets uh, stopped by the Delta. That's unfortunate for me. Now I'm going to have to go Curtain Razor, Normal Summon Servant, Special Destrudo. It's a very heads up play that not many people would have even realized. But if I summon Dragon Pit like a lot of you noobs would, you would Electro pop Dragon Pit and pray to God you drew a scale. But if you didn't draw a scale, you're not guaranteed to draw a scale. And there's no monkey board in the game. So there's Dark Worm, but you need no monsters in the field to control it. So in this situation, I'm like, bro, this is you know, very unfortunate. I have to special the Strudo from my hand. The Strudo's not a brick, as you guys saw. It's essentially a free card you can pop as well. Electro, pop to the Strudo, get the, uh, send Dark Worm, get the Servant. I'm like, okay, we're in. We get at least Guard Dragon combo. It's not the worst of hands. The hand trap hurt there a lot, but you're never left with nothing. You're facing... Uh, you're facing side frames. This should be enough. You bounce their normal summon, vortex negate the uh, spell card they have, extravagance, whatever, and win. So he used sign at mining. I'm like, I'm gonna let that resolve because his normal summon, I'm gonna stop with seal or vortex. He summons this. I'm like, wait a second, he's gonna summon a monster on field, right? I could easily negate it with vortex, but what the hell is seal gonna stop then? Nothing. So I'm gonna bounce the normal summon, but I'm gonna let him summon a card first because now all his side frame cards are useless. Summon a card. Now he has a card on field. <laughs> now I bounce back the uh, gadget. All the cyphering cards are useless. And there's only two cards or three cards left in his hand you can do something with that are spell cards. And the only spell card I was scared of to begin with was extravagance or evenly. He can't evenly me because he's a monster on board. And he can't extravagance because now it's like in the middle of main phase one. Uh, so bounce that back. He summons Cir activate circuit. I'm like, there's nothing else, no other spell card in the entire deck of cyphers you could activate after a vortex that'll hurt me. Evenly and extravagance are the only cards I was negating. So I'm like, Vortex negate that. I'm like, I win. And he had a monster on board. 
So I'm, I'm good. Any of you Mystic mind me if, if for some reason he played it. I just linked into two, and on his turn, uh, it'll on my end phase it'll die. So I'm, I'm safe no matter what. And just like that, as a little crack, nothing he passed. I'm like, okay, this is the easiest Boral Sword I've ever seen in my life. And then get any Ash he has if he has it with Vortex. He can activate side frame cards, and I win. Attack. Just made Boral Sword attack. Boral Sword. Everything in attack will attack for game. Let's game. Hey, Cap. Pen's best deck. What can I say? Hit the subscribe button already. Go subscribe to Cap G as well. See you guys next video. Peace.